Plato, 360 BCE. In a two-part dialogue called Timaeus and Critias, Plato described the now famous Atlantis as a great island empire that was larger than Libya and Asia Minor combined. He wrote that in the first ages the gods divided the earth amongst themselves in respect to their individual dignities. Each deity was given their own allotment and established temples to honour themselves. These beings can be likened to the later Elohim, which is plural for gods of the biblical text. A priest class was also ordained that instituted a system of ritual sacrifice. Today, this may be the elite hybrid Satanists of the black nobility bloodlines. The god Poseidon was given the sea and the land which became known as Atlantis. Poseidon was said to have had 10 sons with one of the primitive human beings. Atlas was the eldest of these sons. He was later condemned to hold the heavens upon his shoulders in Greek mythology. In Atlantis, statues of Poseidon were said to include six winged horses, a hundred beings riding dolphins, and ten golden statues of the ten kings who were his sons and their wives. So what was this all about? Was there a real Atlantis? Or was this a mythological story that if read through the lens of the ancient mystery school teachings could reveal the nature of reality itself and thus how to manipulate it? These ancient priests and those initiated into these brotherhoods are said to be taught the systems of reality and they pass this information on through stories, allegories and mysteries. And those who show themselves to give their very soul to the secret society will be gradually taught the keys to this system. The study of systems is called cybernetics and it is this knowledge of human systems that is the key information that gives these occultists the ability to control humanity. The information itself is neutral the intent of the initiate dictates the outcome. Like a Swiss watch, they know the cogs and the mechanisms that make you tick. Author and researcher of the alchemical tech revolution, Wayne McCroy, joins me today to decode the cybernetic systems of Plato's Atlantis.